Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrifying. Oh. I mean, that big crack is not looking very healthy. I cannot believe what I've just seen. Mm. Martha's feeling very nervous again. I'm so sorry. My parents are going to have to watch this. <laughs> that is honestly so scary. It was time to part ways with our van life journey in the UK because quite frankly, we were sick of our park ups looking like this. With an early start to board our ferry to Calais, I had heard that the queue times were ridiculous. Mitch persistently told me it would be fine, and as we pulled up, I sat smug knowing I was right until this happened. God, he's annoying. With a seamless boarding to start our trip, we said our farewells to England, and you couldn't write the fact that the day we decided to run away from the so-called British summer we were having, it was an absolutely gorgeous day. Now with a long slog to reach our destination, we kicked back, still mind blown that we were doing this all over again a year later in a van that we'd built from scratch. I don't know if it'll ever sink in. Mitch decided that 96 kilometers an hour was his speed for the journey for whatever reason, and 10 hours of driving, 1,000 kilometers of tarmac, and two incredibly good reasons for why we decided to move to Europe later, we finally made it to where we are hopefully going to make a lot more amazing memories. So we have made it to the Alps. <laughs> Might be a little bit of a shock if you don't follow us on social media. I've been keeping up to date on there, but we made the decision like a week ago to basically come to Europe because we'd had enough of the UK weather. And <laughs> although it doesn't seem much different right now, this was meant to be the, nice, uh, the worst day of the week. So to kick it all off, we've come to the peak of Ruberhorn, which is in the Algar Alps, and we've got some pretty crazy plans for the next few days, which is gonna sort of test our mental resilience. Yeah, I'm really excited to be here, especially after we had the little test in Wales of being outdoors and being in the mountains. I think we can all agree that Mitch definitely fell in love a lot with being in the mountains. So we thought, screw it, we're just gonna go to the Alps whilst the weather, it's still summer, and the weather's better than it would be in the middle of winter, which is when we were kind of originally planning on getting here for. In typical us fashion, we haven't gone easy on ourselves as we've got into the Alps. We've come and done this hike today, which is about just shy of 2,000 meters in altitude. So we're feeling it up here. I forgot what it felt like to be up, especially, I mean, it's covered us now. It was really nice views a minute ago, and we're now covered in the cloud. So I think it's time for us to make our way back down. We got to the peak at the perfect time because as you can see, you cannot see 20 meters in front of you now. Martha's taking her time. You'll be happy to know that I've invested in some poles for hiking. <laughs> so this should hopefully help my knee. And so good so far. I mean- So good so far. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> for God's sake, come on. Oh my God. I don't know if you can tell, on this GoPro because it flattens stuff so much. But this is so steep. I am rarely on my arse when I'm going downhill, but like, <laughs> this is very committing. Oh, oh man, oh, oh my God, I was nearly on my arse. I've literally been laughing this whole way down because it just sounds like I've got Bambi behind me. <laughs> She's getting used to these trekking poles and all I can hear is... I keep losing one when I'm going down and then I let go. And then just like... <laughs> oh man, we're getting there now. Oh, oh my God. That is freezing. Come feel that. That's that's freezing. Oh, oh that's like ice. In that's there. like ice. Yeah, that's the only way I can describe it. And then in the reflection, you can see the peak that we've just come from, way up in the clouds. Yeah. 
so we've made it back down that hike was pretty brutal I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I am so tired now but I'm glad that we've kind of got back to the van we're already on the road leaving where we were parked Mitch had this vision as soon as we got back to the van that he had to have beans with bread so that's what he's just had and I've just made a smoothie for the road we're now just going to drive 30 minutes to our next park up for the night and then just sort of settle in there which I'm looking forward to you know it's still absolutely amazing me the kind of park ups that you can get in Europe compared to when we were doing van life in Wales for instance this park up here is completely free albeit it's a car park there's a few other campers here with us there's toilets just down the way and you've got the gondola literally just up the way there and it just baffles me and then the views as well just to top it off are just amazing it honestly just amazes me like I'm so so glad that we made the decision to come over when we did and now we're here and we get to experience all this just woken up had some breakfast and a coffee and then we've just basically planned out the day and I'm pretty nervous I'm not gonna lie um, it's all mine over matter but <laughs> we are gonna go attempt our first Via Ferrata a Via Ferrata, also known as a Klettersteig in German, is a mountain route equipped with fixed ladders, cables and bridges in order to be accessible to climbers and walkers, or in our case, two numpties that have no idea what they're doing. Mitch is super keen, he's convinced me somehow, and I am looking forward to it, I'm just really apprehensive about how it's all going to go. But I feel so out of my depth right now, we look so silly. I know, look at us. <laughs> helmet on the back and everything if all goes to plan today we'll be hiking to the top of that to do another Klettersteig all the way across that ridge and then back down if all goes well today I wasn't privileged enough to be coming on these holidays to these ski resorts when I was younger so being able to come here in the van for so cheap now is so cool like look at the hotel behind us we're literally going to places that we never would have been able to afford to ever come to but we're able to do it because we're just parked in a car park <laughs> So we just caught sight of what we're doing um, I thought it was going to be a lot lower than that That's really high Mitch <laughs> That's the rock face we're going up Can you see anyone? Oh yeah you just see two people up there. Oh my god, I can't wait. That looks so cool. Is it? Right, we're going to do our safety partner checks. <laughs> safety ourselves. checks. Do you have a little briefing? <laughs> yeah. This is the bit that's nerved me the most. We've now got to bring a first aid kit. This has got everything in it. <laughs> when do you clip on? Straight away. Now? Yeah. Oh my I'm clipped on Mitch. That's the most important part to always be clipped on like that. I'm really struggling with this whole clipping situation. Okay, so we're clipped in. I'm not really sure how you hold it. I'm already stuck. Oh man, it looks sick. Hold. Well done. Well done. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're such amateurs. I'm really not confident right now. Come on, I meant to do that. You're stressing it hard now, aren't you? I am. Just relax, try to relax. Have confidence in your steps and your hands. Hey up, use the rope more. Your right foot's got to go up onto that ledge. Put your left foot there, put your right foot up onto the ledge. Right foot over the ledge, onto there, that's it. Well done. I'm pretty sure I read that that was the hardest part, so hopefully that's done for now. Because I know Martha's stressing like mad. Mum, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry that you have to watch this right now. I think it's mainly just getting to grips. Like, it's not the height that's bothering me right now. It's the getting yourself into a 
a sticky situation where you don't know where to put your foot and then that's when it just brings up panic in me. You're doing good. Do you, I, I can't believe you're in front to be honest. It's hard to see where your, your holds are going to be. But that's why I think it's good in a way, but I just want you to stay close. Wow, look at it. I know. Oh my God. Oh man, this is mint. I love it. Right, let's go up again. <laughs> Dude, you have to zoom in, man, Sean, that. Oh, oh my God, my legs are so sore. <laughs> it's literally like, every step is like, put, pe like picking jelly up. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, I'll talk us through your thought process. Um, just feel every rock. Oh, I've chipped my nail. Oh, no. Oh. I don't know if you can tell how much we've climbed, but it's pretty much vertical. I mean, that's where we started from. My legs are still shaking. I, I don't know what, I don't want to say it's because I'm scared that my legs are shaking. <laughs> I don't think it is. Wow, this looks mad. <laughs> well done. Oh my God, that looks so crazy. Well done, Moth. This is bloody nuts. I can see you. <laughs> well oh my God, people are gonna be sick of my giggle by the end of this. This is mint. Does that show the sheer steepness of what is going on here? It is absolutely mad. Look at that view. It really is just that we can't see where we started now. I can't explain to you how much I'm concentrating right now on just life and everything that's going on. I'm trying to let the shakes calm down. Wow, look around. I know. Man. Are you glad that we came to Europe now? No, it's crap, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what? This is nuts. Look at us. Two little amateurs. You ain't got up yet. Yeah, true. Okay. Oh, my toe got stuck then. This is unreal. That was hard, well done. Yeah. So we think we made it to like one of the top points. I'm not sure how much more further, but it's it's going over there now. But we're on this like main flat bit just overlooking everything. And Mitchell's mum is literally just in that moment. Uh, sent a message saying hi hope you're okay <laughs> so he's trying to call her because no one knows we're doing this oh uh, yeah you're all right yeah i've got about three minutes all right look where i am <laughs> oh my god look at what i've just climbed up what are you doing <laughs> Oh, just a bit. Hi. <laughs> no, I'm not a No, you, you just get left to do it. <laughs> Are you having any training, Mitchell? Yeah, I know. That makes it more fun. <laughs> it's I all do, good. Martha. I know. Well, this is the last clip off, and then I, I believe we're done. I don't know how to go on my own two feet now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And we're done. Wow, that feels weird. Well done though. That was sick. I'm well impressed with you. I know you were panicking like mad at the start. Yeah. Oh man, I can't wait till tomorrow now. My, honestly, my cheeks hurt so much from smiling. I've just had the best time. If you do enjoy watching us do all these crazy adventures, please make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it really supports our channel. As much as it's nice to be back at the van, I'm kind of low-key sad that we are already back and the adventure's over for today. But we were just saying like it's probably a good thing that we've done it this morning because our legs are still crazy sore from yesterday so it'll give us enough time to you know readjust ready for tomorrow because tomorrow is just one level up that i'm trying not to think about too much it feels like we've only just had breakfast but it's lunchtime so i'm whipping up a quick like curried chickpea recipe so i'm basically just customizing it a little bit this thing because i haven't got all the ingredients but it's just a good thing for us to do because we can batch it so hopefully this is helping us out for tomorrow as well because we think it could take about six hours don't knock it until you've tried it looks a bit like cut sick so we've had a change of plans uh, mitch has found somewhere on the maps that's just around here that we're going to go explore apparently there's an outdoor shower and somewhere to swim I'm not too sure the sun's just gone in but we're going to go anyway plus i can't keep my eyes open so a cold swim might be good <gasps> 
<laughs> that is cold. Because I can hear you gasp from here. Like at eight. You don't need your shoes on. Yeah, but it's just oh, okay. Oh, I'm procrastinating now. Come on. I'm cold now. Even the mud going down's cold. The sun's out, it's perfect timing. Oh. <laughs> it's so cold. Hey, well, now you've seen her do it, you've got to do it like that. No drama. <laughs> There's something about smelling pine forests and then sunbathing. I just, I'm still not over this place. I think every day this week I've said, can we move here? I want to move here. Like everything's been a pro, hasn't it? Been a pro. Yeah, like to this place, One to second. Germany. I'm going to think of something, Bob. Okay. I can't understand anyone. Yeah, that's the only thing. But also, <laughs> but that's also our fault. Yeah, that's also our fault. And literally on the forecast now, this was the coldest day for the next two weeks. Oh, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. Chef Martha, what's on the menu tonight? My one pot dinner pussy. It's just the easiest thing ever. And we've made loads of couscous and it's basically just like, I call it taco soup. I don't really know. It's like a, it's a wetter chili, basically. And then what we found is mixing couscous into it is really nice because it's still wet. So it's, the couscous is in it. So it's still like a soup. I just put mince and pepper and garlic in here and then black beans, kidney beans and then I'm just getting all the seasons out now and then you just put a tin of chopped tomatoes in and then I'm just going to mix it all together bring it to the boil and then we're going to eat it with some... Really? I thought we were going to wear it. I would say I've cooked up a storm here. It's a great, great meal if you want something quick, one pot, done, hardly any mess. It's great for that and it's delicious. Oh, I'm feeling nervous but excited and it is actually really nice to be up early to be honest the sun's just come out and it's bright now so I'm actually really looking forward to this oh my god <laughs> what is this <laughs> do I look like a pro with its sunglasses on um <laughs> you get it now yeah well we're not off to a great start I had found a walking trail up to where the summit is, where we'll be starting the Via Ferrata and basically it doesn't exist or we can't see it. So now we're zigzagging all the way up the mountain with only an hour and sort of 40 minutes until the chairlift starts. So if we don't beat people up there, we've done all this for no reason. <laughs> Do that. So that up in the distance is where the chairlift will go to. Our legs are going to be absolutely shot, they already are. And it's an eight kilometre route from when we get to the chairlift station. No, further. Further? Yeah. We've had a tough few days. This is one way to get into it, that's for sure. Just clap at him. Go, oi! <laughs> Moving, man. Come on. Come on. <laughs> to you, my lady. Thank you, sir. We made it up to the station an hour before it opens up. So, all in all, it wasn't a complete waste of time. Us blowing out our asses coming up here. Can you tell it was hard to get on? <laughs> It looks like we've made it. All kitted up and ready to go. Yeah, we're getting getting better each time already. 
Wow, this looks sick. This is so different to yesterday. Just a cheeky little upsell down for the start. But I just, I just can't get over this. So sick. I really do hope the GoPro does this justice. Martha's feeling very nervous again. I think she just needs to get back into the groove of it. I'm feeling really nervous today, all of a sudden, now that we're on it. It doesn't seem any different the other day, but I think just it's a lot quieter. There's not many people around. If you see where we've just come from, there's two more people over there. It is a big drop down. It's very exposed. It is sick. Martha will get there in a little bit once we're over the top of this ridge. Mitch has gone and taken the lead for this bit as um, I'm just seem to be getting myself in a little bit of a pickle with doing the carabiners and make like not thinking it enough before the next bit. So he's kind of going ahead as you can see. I'm just slowly making my way along. You just make it hard work for yourself. Yeah. Any way to make it harder, I'm doing it. But there's some people <coughs> up here. That's you going all the way up to the peak. This is good, I like this one. There's like a lot more exposure. Oh, rock's falling. That's why you wear a helmet, in case you kick one on someone's head. Go on, you're doing great. It's my upper body strength. That's it. Hold on. My hands are getting sweaty now. We've just come over a pretty hard section. Martha's about to tackle it. You're doing great, Mark. Right, so now prepare yourself for that hot, that changeover because that's quite difficult. Nice. Nice, that's really good. Calm your breathing. That's the hardest part. You're over now. Yeah. Nice. Nice. How about this one? That's good, got it. Just needed a... Yeah. <laughs> That was good, Mark. <laughs> I think that is the hardest part of the whole thing. Okay. I think, I have no oh, idea. No. Just tell me that. <laughs> this is quite odd. I cannot believe what I've just seen. What the hell? That's the old route. Can you see the steps up there hanging over that massive belly drop off? Oh my God, that's made my heart go funny. Luckily, there's a new rope up this way. Oh my God, that's made me feel sick. Love it. What the hell? Does it look okay, the bit that we're doing? It, it looks a lot nicer than that, I put it that way. Jesus Christ. I mean, that big crack is not looking very healthy. What the f That is terrifying. Oh my God. I can't look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am so sorry. Our parents are gonna have to watch this. That is honestly so scary. Okay, Mitch, I'm scared. Oh. Can we not dwell on this now, please? Can we just go? That is crazy. I just wanna see what you're doing here. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I shouldn't swear. Just don't think about it. It's the same as what you've been coming up, but you need to not think about it as much. That's not a good place. Tea time. Doing that down. <sighs> Shit, if you're struggling, I'm. I'm not even watching you. I should be watching you. Are you safe there now? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? I will be in the zone. It's flat up here. Okay, feel sick. Right. Okay. I'm keeping you on my strap, but I just want to give reference of what we've just come across. I'm shaking. That's the way. That's incredible. I can't believe that. Well done for keeping me cool there. That was hard. Just getting the breath. I think we're nearly there now. Yeah. So as we're going up this final bit, it's a lot easier than kind of the whole bit we've done so far. 
But as we're going up Mitch's trying to like reminisce on what's just happened and saying, oh, that was really scary or, oh, this is a piece of piss now compared to that. And how do you think you went? What were you like? And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> I am still processing just what we're doing. I can't think about what's just happened. I'll think about it after. We can have a nice chat at the top. But right now, <laughs> there's still this behind me. I'm just focusing on clipping in, clipping in, clipping out, clipping in, and just making my way up. This is the part where I'd be happy to call it quits, but there's another route that we had planned on doing. So there's a sign going that way to this summit. And then we've got this sign here going. Where Mitch is, all the way over that ridge line, all yeah, the way that, into that high point there, if you can see in the distance. That walk looks amazing, so I really want to do that. I'm sure it'll be worth it. <laughs> it's just when you know that there's an end. <laughs> Yeah. And we're not taking it. So straight away when we could have turned around, we're now going down the I've red pot I don't like going down backwards, this is way more scary. Oh, I'm slipping, shit. You've really just got to take your time and not get in your head because it's not that difficult. Okay. you just got to take it really slow. Yeah, okay. Are you happy for me to yeah, come now? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. That's it. Just for context, this is where we are. And that is just where we've come down from. <laughs> I, I can't. It's honestly terrifying, isn't it? Oh, you're just holding like with one arm. Please just get past it. <laughs> These are the bits where you like uh, exaggerate it. So then it's worse. Oh my, now it's worth it, Mark. Oh, you're getting better as you go. <laughs> well done. Oh man, you've done well there. Cause that scared me. Love it. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That was tough. I'm so happy that we did that second bit as much as I don't want to. I thought that second part was a lot more mentally hard. Yeah. Like, because of it, everything was getting tired as well, like my grip was getting tired, like you were mentally getting tired as well. My arms feel like floaty. They're yeah. that like sort of, but these views right now. I know. I can't even begin to fathom it. Like 360, mountains everywhere. Where the hell are we? You did so well because I was getting so scared. Like not so scared, but like I was getting scared at the end. So for you to do that, you've done so well. Thank you. I don't even want to toot our own horn, but like. Yeah, for was... the second one we've ever done, that was pretty, that was pretty strenuous. I don't know how well you can see, but there's some people there which is the point where we decided to turn and carry on doing the fear ferrata all the way across this rock face. I feel like that shows how far like we were coming down and sort of abseiling down at some points. That is crazy That's that we just went across very that. Very high. Wow. Also, fun fact. Fun fact. Okay. I bet you didn't even know this, did you? But That's Germany. That's Austria. Oh, no way. Yeah, we're literally on the border. Like, we're stood on the borderline. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, funny. Funny. So this ridge follows the border of the two countries. So Germany, Austria. Even from this point here, you can just about see the van. What a first week that we've had since we've been here. It's It's been a lot. It's been a big change from the UK van life that we were doing just before. I know, like look behind us. Ev nuts. Everywhere around us, I, I can't get over it. I'm so happy that we're here. Yeah, it's such a new big chapter for us and we're gonna be doing so much more stuff like this. So we'd really appreciate a like and subscribe so you get to watch the next video. Right, we're getting attacked by flies. So we're just gonna head down and we'll catch you in the next video. <laughs> We've never got better at that, have we? No. <laughs>